Grounded into the wood update. 0.12 patch notes overview. Into the wood update is live. And I will tell you this, it is full of balance changes and new quality of life features. You know those small things we always ask for? And when it is added to the game, the reaction is always the same? Finally! Just to, after a couple of hours, disregard as a recent change, that's 50% or more of the Into the Woods update. For example, now you can sleep at any time of the day. Hey, I'm gonna fall asleep standing up if we go much longer. But not if you are too awake. So manage your resting time like a champ. The upper yard is open. And the area can be divided into five different environments. The upper garden, a place to find all the basic materials of the game. The barbecue spill, a hotspot hostile zone. The canyons, a lovely place to get lost and find buried treasures. The shed, the parkour area. Have fun! The Ward Pile, a kingdom dominated by termites, wolf spiders and mosquitoes. Good luck with that! And to populate this environment, 11 new bugs. Let's take a peep at them with the peeper mode. Oh yeah, I know how much you wanted this just to use a couple of times and put it aside to eternity. Come here! <laughs> You big baby, baby, baby. Seriously now, the cool thing about the peeper is that you can set a waypoint and see it on the backyard map. The ladybug, aggressive cousin of the ladybug and vulnerable to fresh weapons. The ladybug larva. You are going to hate this one, trust me. Vulnerable to fresh weapons. Roly poly. The healthy part of the family. Vulnerable to spicy weapons. Dust mite. Upgraded strength and annoyance. Vulnerable to fresh weapons. This is the scarab. You will hate him at first, but then fall in love with this pesky little bugger. A link to a guide on how to kill it has been added to the video description. Black Ox Beetle. Bring a shield to kill this big bull. Vulnerable to salty weapons. Green Shield Bug. An easy kill from above. Don't get close to this stinky. Vulnerable to fresh weapons. But no need. Infected Wolf Spider. The hardest kill of the entire update. And has no friends. Vulnerable to fresh weapons. A link to the guide on how to kill it has also been added to the video description. Last but not least, the Royal Family. Termite, the ill-bred little brother, will spit at you. Shoulder Termite, the bully big brother, will sneeze and bite you. Termite King, the fat and lazy dad, easy kill and responds around three backyard days. All termites are vulnerable to salty. The question that remains, what do you get by exploring all these environments and killing all these bugs? Welcome to my Into the Woods exhibition. Here we got the Termite Axe, a beautiful tier 3 tool, able to chop down burr weeds, cut in half pupa 
and extract lint from dust. The mythical black ox hammer, so powerful that breaks in half pieces of coal and is being used as a weapon to smash giant bugs. Splinter arrows, a bit sharper than the feather arrows. The next exhibit you already know, but you don't. This looks like the crusty roly poly armor set, but it is not. What you see is the one and only roly poly armor set crafted with healthy roly-poly parts. Sickly roly-poly parts no longer exist. Kaput! If you have these parts on your chests, keep them as a souvenir. This one is new, but just one piece of the set. The termite chest armor, a great piece for scavengers. And if you haven't noticed yet, we are standing on the newly added floor of the game, the Burr Floors. The star piece of the exhibition, the Koaltana Sword. This is a two-handed weapon forged with the spicy upgrade. It glows and it cuts like a lightsaber. Yup! Talking about weapons, you can now upgrade them to level 9. But this doesn't mean more damage. All weapons and all upgrades were balanced down to accommodate these two new levels. In other words, Damage output as a whole has been nerfed. <laughs> guys, 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 this is part of the experience of playing a game in early access. <laughs> Things are tuned up and down until they are well balanced. <laughs> For example, Globs now cost 20% less. All weapons have higher durability. Oh yeah, and combat also changed. Now, to inflict full damage, a combo of 3 hits must be done. I believe it was done to make combat more strategic, less brawly, and to avoid the animation interruption exploit. There's no doubt combat got a little bit harder, but the grinding became a thousand times easier. Fighting materials and bugs is one click away with the resource surveyor. A piece of equipment that you can find in every field station and lab. No more running around searching for bugs. No more running around searching for feathers. This is a miracle. No more running around like a clown. Remember I said this update was about small changes? I can't put all of them in this video, but here are the ones I most enjoy. Bounce webs can now be adjusted for angle and power. My highway became a jumpway. This was my Christmas tree before the update. This is my Christmas tree after the update. Every fixed source of light can now be turned on and off and adjusted for strength and color. The game HUD now brings buffs and debuffs, better knowledge for what is going on.
the data page is now well organized and by a fact I know there are 7 more burgle chips to come unless developers are playing a prank on you, me and the entire human race. I can now craft many of everything instead of crafting one by one. Oh my god, let's party! I can deposit stuff in one click. My inventory is full of spicy globs. I am the king. In one click, my chest becomes the king. Boom. I can now copy and paste building parts and build them on the go. Let's build some ovens, spinning wheels and grinders. When there's something ready, all of these stations now have icons on the top and you don't need to go in its UI to pick it up. The spinning wheel and the grinder also have a new interface, similar to the oven, making things much easier. Oh look! Now you can grind grass planks and weed stems and get plant fibers. Let's go! Now, if you hate everything about the Into the Wood update, no problem, I got you buddy. With the new custom game mode, you can create a new game by your own rules. Check out all the options you have. Be free, be happy. If you have any questions about the 0.12 Into the Wood update or anything else on Grounded, leave a comment below and I will help you. Don't forget to subscribe to Spy as more content on the 0.12 update is coming. Also, consider being a member of the channel and unlock exclusive perks. Be part of the Spy Academy. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.